filming with two lenses at the same time on one device. I never thought it possible, but it's here. If you are looking for a way to capture simultaneous footage in one take, stick around because I have an app I think you're going to like. Hey everyone, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. I am Claudius where I share tips and tools on how you can tell your stories as well as tech reviews. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. If you're coming back again, thank you for stopping by and everyone check out the information and links in the description below for any of the information I share with you today. So I've been testing out this multicam app on my phone called Double Take. It's made by the company called Filmic. Pro, they're the ones that brought the Filmic Pro video app that I've pretty much been using exclusively on my phone to shoot cinematic footage. Now, Double Take takes filming on your phone to a whole new level, so let me show you. So what you wanna do is download Double Take, it's a separate app from the Filmic Pro app, or you can launch it from within the Filmic app itself. Depending on the device you have, for example, right now I'm using my iPhone XS Max, and Double Take is actually made for the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro, the 11 Max, the 10S, and the 10X Max. So if you don't have either of those devices, kind of you're you're kind of out of luck at the moment. Um, after having played with this, though, it makes me want to get the 11 because it has the additional lens, but I digress. Depending on the kind of shot you want to take, you can choose from two of three lenses in my case. Um, what I'm going to do is tap on this little lens icon and I'm given the option to choose two of the three lenses that I have. I can go wide, telephoto, or selfie. So I get to choose two of the three. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the telephoto and wide. And then I'm given the option here to confirm that those are the uh, lenses that I wanna use. So I'll tap confirm. And now what I'm looking at is kind of like uh, two of the lenses at the same time, I can actually move the second lens around while the other one kind of stays uh, intact there. And you have the option to choose kind of three different modes uh, by tapping on the icon on the upper right corner. I can choose picture in picture. I can shoot split screen and then discrete. So uh, there's differences between the three and I'll kind of explain here further. So I'm going to start off by showing you the picture in picture option. So if you've been watching TV or have a monitor for some time now, you know, there's an option for picture in picture. You can watch two episodes, two different shows at the same time, you know, keep track of your sporting games and whatnot. Well, the double take app gives you the option to do just that is shoot in picture in picture mode. So what I'm going to do is tap on the lens icon and choose the selfie camera as well as the wide angle and go ahead and tap confirm. And this gives me the option basically to shoot kind of selfie mode and also have the picture in picture. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that icon on the upper right corner and have it be picture in picture. So let's make sure that I selected PIP. So now as I'm shooting here, I can move that picture around the area here as I'm recording. So this is a great way to say, for example, I want to shoot kind of like a, a tutorial, or like a demo uh, video. You can kind of see me talking about it and then demonstrating with the other cameras. So now the final video, the final footage that I have captured, I'm gonna tap on that little uh, SD card icon. And when I play my footage, the picture in picture will already be in that spot. So everything that I captured, it's already layered within the video. So in post-production, I don't have to layer that additional video on top. So it's already done the work for me. So that workflow, that process, has already been improved or sped up. So if you're shooting this type of video, if you're creating this kind of content, this is a great tool to use the picture in picture mode within Double Take. Discrete mode is a bit different than picture in picture. Although you are seeing kind of the picture in picture within the frame here, you are actually shooting two separate video files. So let me kind of demonstrate. I'm gonna go through and tap on the lens icon here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say shoot 
the wide angle and the telephoto. So if I were shooting like a music video or something like that, this would be kind of a great way to kind of get a close up of the lead singer. Then your wide angle will capture kind of the rest of your band. So this is a great way to shoot simultaneous footage captured in two separate files. And so you're only needing to have one take and not do two takes, which again, it speeds up the workflow process. Amazing. Now, another trick using the discrete mode options, if you are shooting kind of uh, cinematic videos on your phone and maybe some action footage where you're having an actor walk towards the camera and away from the camera or you know, maybe like a cyclist or it's kind of sporting type of video. So what you'll do here is tap on the lens icon, select the selfie and wide angle, confirm. And then what I would do is use some sort of stabilizer, place my phone on uh, the floor or somewhere and basically say action and have the actor walking towards the selfie camera. And as you walk away, you're gonna capture their footage walking away. So to and from the camera. So think about that. Normally what you would do is set up a camera walking towards you, cut, fix the camera, place it, turn it the other way, try to get the same uh, motion from the actor, same foot moving forward and so on, and then action again. So you're basically resetting the camera to take uh, the shot that you want of someone walking towards you and walking away. Well, with this one, what you'll do is just set the camera up, record and action, and it's all done in one take. And again, as I mentioned, they are done and creates two separate files. Amazing. And lastly is the split screen option, which basically is just as it says, it will split your screen from right or left. Uh, if you're shooting kind of in landscape mode or top and bottom, if you're using the portrait mode. For those of you that would like to record interviews for a podcast or something similar, the split screen mode is probably your best option within double take. So what I want to do is tap on the lens icon and choose the wide angle lens and the selfie lens confirm and then when i get to my screen here is choose the split screen option and this allows me to basically film myself as well as the person that i'm interviewing so what i would do is again place this on some sort of stabilizer in between myself and the person i'm interviewing or i'm talking with and just record and talk as normal and the great thing is it's going to create this one file with the split screen already done. Again, not having to do that in post-production. So if you are, again, shooting interviews for podcasts or maybe like for a YouTube channel, it's a great option. Now, as an added plus, if you flip the camera, as I mentioned earlier, in portrait mode, you can create videos that you can share on social media sites like Instagram. You could do these for your stories record uh, videos or even just kind of create a vlog. Maybe you're kind of talking and sharing uh, with others what you're looking at. Maybe you're on vacation or you kind of have that vlog style. Uh, this is a great way to record footage with split screen. So that in a nutshell is the Double Take app by Filmic Pro. If you have a compatible device and are looking to create videos like the ones I shared earlier, I'd highly recommend picking this app up. It's free at the moment. And by the way, I'm not getting a penny for sharing this. This is just my honest opinion. After having played with this app, as I mentioned earlier, I've been using Filmic Pro, the original video app, for many years now, and uh, I am very happy with the product that they make. So uh, I wouldn't recommend this app unless I thought it was good, and I think it is. Two thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have a question or comment, do add it in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. Click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Keep creating out there, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.